guys, it's Kelly. Welcome to the channel of Relaxed Chill Plant Content, where we talk about the good, the bad, the thriving, and the dying plants in our collection. We also dabble a little bit into gardening and learning how the plants that we have grow. If that sounds like a good time, hit the subscribe button and come hang out. Alright, so it's finally starting to feel like spring where I live. And I figured this is a good time to take a little tour around the apartment, showing you the plants, what they look like prior to the, or the beginning of the, the growing season. And then we can come back towards the end of the summer and see how much the plants have progressed, what survived, what didn't survive, and we can like learn from that. So yeah, I'm gonna flip you around and take you on a little tour of my plants. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is just a quick overview of this little corner. We got the window, and then if we pan over here, we have the Hoya wall, and then we have a couple of plants in the bedroom. I'll show you later. See how bright those lights are? We'll try to, I'll try not to have those lines show up as I'm going over the plants, but, all right. So this is my little, these are like my little buddies while I'm at my desk doing schoolwork. They kind of keep me company. <laughs> So we have the Pelia peperomoides, we have a Peperomia hope, don't know what you're called, you're to some type of aloe, some type of cursula, another type of cursula, uh, silver squill is this guy, some type of succulent, a lithops, a jade plant, some type of succulent, uh, gasteria maybe, I don't, I'm not sure, succulent, 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 Another succulent, another succulent, a string of turtles, which is doing pretty well. Let me move you. See all the, the strands? This is another split rock type of succulent. Half of it has died off, but we still have one, so that's cool. This is a little begonia. Look how cute. Um, I was putting too much light on this guy, so this is why some of the leaves are a little um, like bleached out but it's cute either way a mess back there that we're gonna ignore another type of maybe a chrysula type of succulent I think this is a little piece of a goldfish plant and that's pretty much what we got on this little table panning over we have a Deschidia peck Tolinoides, which is trying. It is trying. I've had I've had some difficulty rooting this guy up, but I think I don't want to pull on it too much, but I think we have some roots because it hasn't died completely. We have some more succulents back here. I don't know the names of any of them. Like, you know, the split rocks. Move this leaf. We got it. I'm trying again. The little string of pearls. I don't know if it will live, but we're gonna try. I have another Pelia peperomoides. I have some propagations, a string of heart propagating. This is a vanilla orchid that I got through a trade. This is a piece of a Hoya cinemafolia or something close to that. I'm trying to root up. I don't know if it will live. We have an oxalis. I have the purple and the green kind. This is another little, I believe it's a goldfish plant, although it's not doing so hot. Right here, we have some cactus growing. We have about 18 little cacti growing. And I threw some little succulent leaves in there to see if they'll root. So, we'll see. This guy is new. His name, I guess is a Stephanoitoides. And it has the most, like, they smell great. Like, if you want a plant, if you like the smell of walking into a plant shop or a florist, this is the plant you want. This is, it gives off such a strong floral scent. It's great. And it's huge. So, yeah, I don't know. It's on a trellis. That's why it's circular. I might take it off the trellis, maybe, over the summer. I don't know. Right here I have, these are pothos, they're called emerald pothos, they're like the green on green variegation. I have two of those I want to pot up in one pot eventually. 
I have one lone <laughs> leaf of this peperomia watermelon, a watermelon peperomia. Yeah, that's it. That's I don't see any other new leaves coming up, but the leaf looks good, so it's it's still alive. These are the regular jade and the neon philodendron trailing. This is a raindrop peperomia. Yes. I think it's doing okay. I think some of the lower leaves are getting ready to, to drop off, but it's doing all right. Back here we have a Sansevieria. I don't really remember the name. Starfish? Maybe? I feel like they look so skinny and they haven't really put out a new spike. So I don't know if they're doing okay, but... And we have this Sansevieria fern, some type of fern, or one of them. One's Cylindrica, one's the fern. I don't remember which is which. I know. I gotta make tags and put them in. This is my Sansevieria or Dracaena. They're all Dracaenas, but whatever. Sensation, Bentel Sensation. Doing well, doing well. My zebra plant, it won't die. I've tried. I've cut it back so many times. But uh, this time I think it's actually growing nicely, so we'll leave it alone for now. The second it gets gangly and weird looking, I'm just going to cut it back. Uh, over here I have like a watermelon plant, a carrot plant, and a pepper plant that I'm not sure is going to survive. But they looked the best when I did have my little mini garden going on, so I kind of kept those. We'll see. Uh, real quick, this is some type of bonsai tree that I don't know if it's doing too hot. The leaves are all kind of chloritic and look like they're falling off, but we'll see. Maybe it'll it'll take off in, in the summer. All right, coming down, we have a string of hearts, a string of spades, and a lace vine plant. This guy is, I feel like nobody talks about him, but if you want a nice, cool trailing plant, get this guy. It's, he's very hardy. The leaves almost feel like cardboard. They're like a fuzzy cardboard. This guy. This is my ficus audrey. I guess it's not dead yet. Usually what I do to see if a plant is dead when it's just a stalk, I will try to spin it to see if the roots have rotted. And it doesn't spin, so maybe it's just thinking about what it needs to do. I don't know. This is my Aglionema collection. I don't know the names of really any of them. I think this one might be a Maria. This is also the same plant as this, but it's died back, although it is growing, so that's exciting. Maybe a Silver Bay Aglionema? Not 100% sure. These three. But, and then we have like these red Aglionemas that I don't know the name of, but they're here. What I want to zoom in on and show you is we got a little Aglionema flower. Look how cute. Looks like a peace lily. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this plant's not dying. I don't think so, but sometimes you don't know. Alrighty, so let me pan over to my little philodendron section. This one right here is a philodendron Eva. Um, I think it's the same as the Golden Goddess, just the green form. I recently picked this one up, so we got a new leaf coming in, which is exciting. And a lot of these guys are kind of on the struggle bus. This guy is my pin cushion, which in the cloche has put out all these new leaves. So look at those news. That's This is what this plant needs, more humidity. Then we have, I think this is a Macaulay's Culkin, Macaulay. Macaulay's final. Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> this is the, the Macaulay's final. Finally putting out some leaves. We have finally an orange leaf for the Prince of Orange. This is a Congo Rojo. This is a Congo Emerald. One of them's the Rojo, one's the Emerald. Or maybe that one's the Emerald. I'm not sure exactly. I lost the tags, so yeah, we'll see. They're all pretty. They're all cute. This guy is the, I think it's a Dark Lord. 
and it's putting down a new leaf. Somebody told me that these spots are part of what the plant does. I'm not sure, but it comes out with the spots, so it's interesting. The Golden Goddess, the Birkin, this guy, oh, what is his name? I can't remember, but he's finally starting to come back. You see all the new little leaves popping up. This is more of like a bush type peperomia. Philodendron, not peperomia, philodendron. And then this is, I think, another Dark Lord. It has the same spots, but this guy's on the struggle bus, so we're gonna just leave him alone. Swinging over here, these are like my, my fancy pots. Uh, this is a Peperomia scandens, trailing nicely. This is a Peperomia blanca, blonda, blonda, trailing nicely. We have an asparagus fern. This is a uh, Sonerico ruby, ruby necklace or something like that. It, this is relatively new for me too, so hopefully, I think that's a new little bunch of leaves, so I don't think I'm killing it yet. Anybody else struggling with their Raptophora tetrasperma? Mine is just, just not, it's not happy. The stem doesn't look great. I tried to wrap it around to help it like root down, and I think it did. I feel like it well, doesn't want to lift up, so I think maybe it's just putting out roots for now and not so much leaves. But it's not dead yet. This is a Peperomia teardrop, variegated. Very cute little bush plant. This guy is a Bogota lipstick plant. And it is very pretty. Like, look at that. We have my Adansonii cuttings that I got from a trade doing pretty well. Um, I've lost a couple leaves here and there, but overall the plant is living. Yay! And we're getting some fenestrations. We have some without and then some, this is the newest leaf and we got some, so we're doing something right. This is a Scandapsis uh, exotica, yeah, I think, yeah. Not the silver end. I still don't know what the difference is, but this is the exotica. And then my micans. My poor little micans. <sighs> you want to make sure you water your micans, or it'll drop all of its leaves and look like this. But we do have new leaves coming in at the top, so eventually I'll just propagate it and figure it out. But I want to get a couple more leaves on the top and make sure the plants actually doing well before I do that. And then swing it over here. These are like my no fuss plants. So we got a Marble Queen Pothos. We got a Gracilis lipstick plant. They're very nice and plump. They're very cute. We got my Tridescantia mix here. We got a Zebrina, the, the really fuzzy one, the Bunny Baby Bellies. And then we have just the regular green and white variety. This is another type of Tradescantia. Don't know the name, but he's nice and large. That's my mess in the background. Ignore it. Another very fuzzy Tradescantia that I stuck in with the Nanook. And yeah, they're doing well. Right here is my little begonia collection. These I got from the Costa Forums. I don't, one's like a Sinban, one's like a Maria. I don't know the names, but they're all doing well so far. I do want to take them out of the substrate that they're in and kind of put them all in one pot. But I feel like I should wait a little bit longer before I do that. I don't know. Okay, guys, just a real quick interruption. I just noticed these guys have flowers. Look how cute. Let me get my hand out of the way. Look how cute. They have the little cute little white flowers. The other ones aren't flowering yet, but look at you. So cute. Alright, back to back to the tour. Alright, so this is my Peperomia obtusifolia. Growing nice and large. 
we do have half of an empty pot and I would like to get a third plant and kind of stick it in there to try to grow with it just so it wouldn't look so awkward but either way it's cute we have the ZZ Raven we have the regular Raven I want to pot these guys up next to each other or in the same pot so I think it would look cute and then we have my little Dracaena tree collection yeah this guy this guy and then the darker form yeah so that's uh that's really all we got on this side I think hopefully I'm not going too fast uh, oh down here I have just these are all the propagations from when I found all the mealybugs keeping them all separated and you know just coming over and spraying them as I change the water each week so I haven't really found too many more so in a couple weeks I think I'll get rid of them all but all right so we will move up these are my Hoya Queen we got a whole bunch of white princess princess queen compacta 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 and then, oh we have this little aloe that's just hanging out out here and then we have my cactus gardens not too much growth this I'm gonna probably add to this one or one of them over the summer alrighty I will I guess take you over to the Hoya wall now see you in a bit alright guys actually you're gonna have to come back for part two to see the Hoyas because the phone is overheating and I have some stuff I need to get done that I forgot about and yeah so this is part one of my beginning of spring slash growing season plant tour and yeah if you guys have any suggestions or the names of any of the plants that I don't know let me know in the comments below I always appreciate some knowledge and information on plants and how to grow them until next time guys relax plants and peace out